Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of the Unfair Mind Show. Glad you could come join us. Today I've got my friend Stefan. I just met him from work. He's a good friend of mine. That we've been we've been chatting for quite a while now, um, ever since he started working where I work. And uh, just it's it's fascinating having these conversations with people because it's it's like the, the the conversations come few and far between. Like you know, this stuff never. Yeah, happens. yeah. So so it's it's just n- nice to be able to talk about certain ideas and have somebody actually understand what in the world I'm talking about without mm-hmm. having to go back and explain all the little finer details of every little thing all the time you know i don't have to start off square one with you now what interested me and one of the one of the reasons i wanted to have you on the show okay is because um you had told me that you actually moved from nigeria yes sir four years ago and you, you lived there up until when you came to the united states yeah and i was just kind of curious if you could share some of like some of the big differences that you might have noticed, you know, because I'm, I'm sure it must have been like a huge culture shock. To oh, yeah. Oh, know, yeah. From, so one of the conversations we had gotten into is you were noted, you were uh, mentioning a lot of the economic kind of differences, you know, in the, in the way uh, like money was spent and the kind of things people did with their money. It, it was just something that that sparked a little interest. I wonder if maybe you can go a little more into that and, and kind of explain you know maybe tell tell the audience here what you what you were telling me um about the way people spend money here yeah well about the differences between the way people kind of use they, they barter they trade and you know just the different oh you know, it's, it's not quite like the u.s dollar works it's not quite the same way as what if i remember right is that what you were telling me um i'm trying to remember that now <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you need to remind me i mean about i mean we spent naira in um back home Yep. And um, they, I, I told you about the exchange rate. I mean, it's about um, a dollar. It's about four hundred naira. Four hundred naira. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, so that's, if you're if you're buying a loaf of bread. It's it's like. What, I mean. <laughs> naira or well, yeah, but I mean, well, bread doesn't cost that much, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a, a, a bread a loaf of bread will cost about maybe three hundred naira. You know, yeah, that's less, than a less than a dollar. Yeah, you yeah. know, so I mean, but then I mean, if you got a thousand dollars, I mean, you're rich. That's about almost five hundred k of my money. I about that a lot, where people will come here to the states, maybe make make some money, and then they'll go live. In oh yeah, you know, oh yeah, because like yeah, because I mean, if you look at it, the, um, I I think the purchasing power is more. I mean, there's so much, there's so little you can do with about two thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean. You can you almost can do nothing. Two thousand dollars will give me about one month to live. Oh yeah. You know here. Oh, wow. In my house, and that's that's really. I mean that that's that's because I have you know pretty inexpensive rent. Oh. Or, or, or my house payment is is pretty inexpensive. My um, car payments I don't have any, so I don't know how other people do it. I really don't. It's, it blows I mean, mind. because... But you yeah. can take that same $2,000. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a lot. $2,000 is almost a millionaire. Oh, yeah. That's... Yeah, I guess that would be about right, wouldn't it? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> really close to having a million. And you could almost... I mean, get a car, you know, buy land. You know, you can do so many shit. So, so many things. You know, the price of things is a lot more affordable. Like yeah, yeah. I mean, people make a lot of money here, but they spend so much to... You know, when you spend, I mean, it's ridiculous to tell anybody you spend two thousand, three thousand dollars a month. Damn. That's what someone says. That's what some somebody will make that in a year. <laughs> Damn. Damn. So you, you were talking about like, which which kind of blew my mind is, is some of the like corruption in government and stuff like that. Yes, yes. Like yeah. it doesn't quite work the same way there as it did here. I I know I know we have a corrupt government, no no doubt, like at all. But it seems like our government's a little more slick about it. Like, like people just don't understand. Like, it's a little more in your face. Oh yeah, I mean, like, I mean, I like, mean. Oh yeah. I mean, the, right. the, the 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 corruption in my country. I mean, if if I say that, you you probably won't believe me. I mean, it's that bad. I mean, it's so. I mean, people steal money. They don't hide it. You know, someone. It's like you go into an office now. You become a governor or mm-hmm. something, a counselor now. And then within the next four years, you're multi multi millionaire. How does that happen? I mean, that, that's that's what happens in my country. I mean, and nobody's asking where where do you get all the money from. So, so you could pretty much walk in on him just stuffing handfuls. Of I mean, cash if in if I get into politics now mm-hmm. within the next two three years, I'll be hundred times richer than what I am now. Oh yeah, so so it's a huge incentive. 
to, to try to get it. I mean, so every it is here as well that they have to go a roundabout way of doing it. I mean, I mean, I, I need to cite an example. Like sometimes in my country, policemen collect bribes on the road. Yeah, I mean, hopefully. Yeah, they don't hide it. You don't have to snake it and all that. I mean, I don't see that here. I mean, it's not like they don't. I mean, it's not like they don't do that here. But you you can do that openly, you know. But my country, I mean, yeah, yeah. nobody. And, and plus, plus, uh, if you try to do it here, the, the officers like, are you trying to bribe me? And you can actually get in, in trouble for trying to bribe. Oh people. yeah, oh right? yeah. Whereas I imagine it's more common practice. Where... Uh, in my country, you can get in trouble for not bribing. Mm. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, I guess, I guess if you don't bribe him, he's going to have to go ahead and take you to jail. Huh? Uh, and you don't want him to do that, so you just say, oh, you, you can have this money, so I can just go. So, I mean, yeah, the corruption there is crazy. I mean, it's crazy. So, so what, what would hap- what would have happened, you, you, would you suppose, if you didn't bribe the cop and he took you to jail? You said you don't want that to happen. Well, because, I mean, the system is so corrupt that you probably won't get justice. Yeah. I mean, you could, you could end up in prison. You know, you can end up framed up. And it's, I mean, they don't and, do. And nobody, would give it. nobody will try to find out if it's really true or not. I mean, right. you could really be in trouble. So you don't have like due process of law. Nah, no, nah. No. They I mean, try to. We supposedly do too, but it's like I said, it's a, it's a lot more slick. It's like a a more advanced version of it. Like you know, <laughs> I mean, you can fool a few people, but you can't fool everybody. But in your country, it's like nobody's even trying to be fooled. No, like, no, no, it's no. Just wide open, there it is. I mean, you will really be in trouble, so you don't want to do that. I mean. Wh- to really be powerful in my country, you really have to be rich. I mean, once you're rich, you can get with it, you can get away with many things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. So you did say that you guys have a lot more like economic freedoms and stuff like that, as far as like not so many restrictions on maybe starting a business and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I mean it's way much easier to start a business, you know, start a school and all that. Mm-hmm. You know, it's really not as complex as it is here. You, you know. Have the- multiple layers of government bureaucracy no to, no yeah, i mean as long as they get a cut uh, i mean as long as you can give some cuts out yeah, i mean you're good yeah. to go you know but here it's a bit i mean a, a little bit more complex to do even good things you know yeah that's that's one of the huge problems that i see around here is just if you do want to start a business man you got you got to go through so much work just to get started i mean I'm, if you can even get started because uh, all the law has been passed to try to try to specifically keep the smaller guys from competing in the market mm, really <laughs> yeah there's, there's like tons of laws that when they, when they sit there and they, they tell you they say you got to have this business license and you got to um, have this equipment and you got to have this safety inspection you got to have this thing and this and that thing and, and then before you know it it's like too freaking expensive to even try to get into it like you got to basically have a lot of money, money. before oh. you can even get started versus just you know, getting started. <laughs> oh, that's the difference. I mean, I mean, my country is a lot is a whole lot easier to to, to yeah. start a business. It's a whole lot easier. So, what, what did you come here for anyway? Well, like they say, greener pastures. I mean, uh, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, my country. There's fewer jobs. You know, there are more jobs here, yeah. more opportunities here to do. You know, if you can work, yeah, you make money. Yeah, but all well, you hear around here is how unemployment rates are skyrocketing. Nobody can find a job. What do you mean there's jobs? I, don't I mean, compared to where I come from, <laughs> this is heaven. <laughs> I mean, there. I have no idea. Do oh you? no, you. I mean, I mean, this is this is nothing. Yeah. I mean, if I had this in my country, we'll be praising God. Yeah. I mean, we'll be. I mean, because people want to work. I mean, what's the un- unemployment rate here? Like, unemployment rate uh, uh, you know honestly last i heard i heard it was actually kind of getting lower under president uh trump, trump. um i think they had talked about adding over a million jobs just since it, since he started as president so oh really i don't know how accurate the numbers are but that's just what you know of course we're getting our numbers from government so there's you know no telling how much they massage the numbers <laughs> trying to make them look good i mean just even during uh president president obama's term um the numbers that were coming out were like seven eight percent unemployment rate but what they were not including was numbers like um people who stopped looking for work or gave up looking for work because oh, they couldn't find a job you know stuff like that yeah. they didn't include people that are partially employed or people who are working part-time only oh on the employed yeah yeah mm-hmm. if people like, say they, they might have had a really good job and then had lost it and then maybe they found work again but it was only part-time oh. they weren't making nearly as much they counted that as a, adding a job Oh, oh, so that kind of yeah, bring it up. Yeah. So, like I said, the numbers you can't 
you can't really tell because they kind of massage them the way they want to massage them. Uh, well, I mean, compared to where I come from, it's good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Trust no, you I, on that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I know it's I know it's just anecdotal, but I go looking around. And, and you drive through Murfreesboro down here, and you see now hiring signs everywhere. Oh yeah. I saw, man, you're not gonna believe this. I was sitting there at one of the major intersections in town. Okay. I wish I'd gotten a picture of it. There's somebody sitting there on the corner. Uh, when the cars pull up to the light and they're begging them for money, they got a little they got a little cardboard sign. Oh yeah! And literally behind them, I could see it from where they were standing. A giant sign for a labor company said "Now Hiring." I'm like, what? I mean, why can't they just go to work? Like, hey, turn around! It's right there, <laughs> like, dude. Well, I, I think he probably knows. I, I think most of them just don't want to work. Yeah, I, th- I, th- I think that's part of it. <laughs> or they just make such good money doing that. I mean, I think it's a lot of money begging. <laughs> <laughs> if you can, I mean, if you can down the chain, it's a lot of money. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm sure they pretty make like, I don't know, but I think they make. You know, it. I hear you can make good money begging. Matter of fact, head on over to unfreemind.com and click the support link, and you can donate to our show. <laughs> Are you begging now? <laughs> I might be. I might be. <laughs> oh yeah! I know a lot of people have called it e-begging um, now, which is interesting. But I'm, I'm like sitting here going, "Wait a minute! How else am I supposed to get support for the show if I don't tell people, hey, 'Hey, I'm looking for support for the show'?" Oh you know? yeah! It's, it's oh, like yeah. if I if you feel like I'm producing a good quality product and you want to pay for that, you want to help support it. And I mean, keep it going, you know. As far as I'm concerned, money where your mouth yeah. Is, I mean, so. that, that's no begging. That's paying for something. Yeah, that's I mean, different. You're, you're, yeah, it's not. It's not like I'm not producing any value. I mean, you know? you're producing I'm great value. To, you know, bring on good guests like you, and we can talk about important subjects. You know, stuff that people maybe hadn't thought of or did, were unaware of. Oh know, yeah. Like I mean, when you when you tell, told me about you know living in Nigeria, I was fascinated. I'm like, I just want to know, <laughs> like, what's it like? I mean, what, what's the difference? You know? Now, now, one of, I, I was trying to save this one toward toward the end here, but what I was wanting to know is one of the things that you had we we were talking about was the race issue. Yeah, America, yeah, yeah, and how how different that is you know you, you I, I don't even imagine you had experienced anything like that no. until you came here yeah and I, is there white people where you came from i mean is that oh yeah I oh mean, yeah it's not like you never had were exposed to white oh people, yeah you know oh yeah but i mean there was nothing like that well, what's, what's the dynamics like between you know the the different races if you will in nigeria versus here i mean what, what was some of that like for you i mean for me the first time i actually i mean the first time i actually felt really different was i mean some few months after i came here you know yeah. and you see folks that won't even want to talk to you you know and like i'm trying to say hi to you like i like, mean like uh, white folks that don't want to talk to you oh yeah. yeah oh yeah i mean you're wondering that i mean what's wrong do i put did i pull on my body <laughs> <laughs> do i smell <laughs> I smell, I smell different or something. Did I, did I oh, you know, you know, but I mean, it's what it is. But I mean, back home, there was nothing like that. We all saw ourselves as human beings, you know, though we had different tribes, you know, sometimes we get a quarrel and all that, but yeah. it wasn't about someone just not liking you just because of how you look. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't about, yeah, it wasn't just, yeah, <laughs> that's what blows my mind. It's like, <sighs> How can you how can you judge somebody just by looking at them? Like I mean, I mean, I, I get that there's there's differences. In, you know, when you look at the aggregate, the, exactly the big picture. I get there's differences in the races, and there's di- you know there's gonna be. I mean, yes, sir. You know the different different races were you know yeah. evolving in different major majorly different environments. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But that being said, how can you look at the individual and and try to apply that to them? Because you can't you just can't do that because. <laughs> These are these are averages. They they aren't representative I, I, of everybody. I, I need to be sincere with you. I just feel it's stupid, you know, for you to see someone and mm-hmm. just judge them without just without even meeting them. I mean, what gives you the right to think that you're smarter or better than anyone without just without even first trying to see if yeah, you're really least, smarter yeah, than yeah. them? Yeah. At least try and see. Now, you know. Now if, now, if I would have talked to you and you you know flip me off and called me a jackass then, yeah I'm gonna, i can't stand you you're, like, you're a dick like, you know i mean that that gives you a reason to but i mean you don't even give them that chance you just feel it's a black dude it's, you gotta be foolish i mean i'm like what do you mean <laughs> so what, what was it like when 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 you came and, and met me for the first time just curious i mean i i need to be sincere with you i just thought you were just the i mean i've met so many 
foolish people. Mm-hmm. You know, I've met wise ones too. I mean, I can group anybody into the same thing. There's some really good guys out there that you meet. I mean, they want to talk to you. They want to find out. I mean, do you really have sense? I mean, if I can use that word, you know. And then when I met you, I just felt oh, it's just a normal, well, normal white guy. <laughs> Which I mean, and then I could see that you wanted to. I mean, you got engaged. You wanted to talk. And I knew that you wanted to find out what was going on in my mind. I could sense that, you know. <laughs> you know, I, I just. Pick, I was picking at oh him. yeah, oh yeah. And I know when and someone. You were picking back though. That's just why. I like, that's why. That's why I wanted to have you on the show too, because it was not a one-way street. Yeah, I mean, because I, I try to, I try to really relate with people based on what is going on in their mind. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to, I want to be sure you ain't gonna waste my time. You know, some people are just gonna waste their time. Yeah. They ain't worried. Exactly. I mean, you, they just, they're just full of crap. <laughs> so oh yeah yeah so i mean for me it was i mean we spoke and on the five minutes i was i already connected with you mm-hmm. all right so this one i want to talk to this one i want to be friends with you so know never in your it never it, it even occurred to you that hey this is a white guy i better treat him differently somehow no I, you know. I didn't even remember that i mean we're so busy exchanging ideas that it didn't even matter to me no yeah, more yeah. I, i'd forgotten i was black <laughs> i don't even know I, I don't even know man like that that drives me nuts people that sit there and want to talk about the black experience like what does that even mean exactly i mean it, there, there's different cultures yeah oh yeah the color of your skin doesn't give you i mean necessarily does it no i mean you, you can't really like everybody people are different I mean, there's some people that just, it doesn't necessarily mean they're not good people, but you just don't flow. You just don't, right, right. you know, you can't like everybody. It's it's false to think that everybody's going to be nice to you. Some people just won't like you. It's okay. But then when you just put a set of people into a class, you know, and you don't want to care if he's intelligent or foolish or stupid. I mean, you just feel that these people, you just don't want to relate with them. I think that's just foolish. I think it's foolish. And I need to say this now. I mean, some people may not like this. I think it exists on both sides. I've been asking very foolish black people too. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I really need to be clear about that. I've seen people that, you know, don't want to relate with people just because of how they look. It's not just a white thing. Even black people do it too. I mean, and sometimes I, I have to correct people that I don't care. I, I, you know, you just re- need to relate with someone as a human being. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I've experienced that. I mean, yeah, I know you have. We're, we're like you're, you're just trying. Like I'll say hi to anybody, you know. But there's, there was, there's been quite a few times people, you know, black people will sit there and you can almost sense it. I don't understand it, but it's like they almost don't want to talk to you because you're white and you are the enemy in their mind. Exactly. It's like I, I mean, I can't read their mind. Obviously, I, I, I might just be projecting. And yeah, but you will feel it. I mean, you feel it. But, you but, feel but, it. But it's, but, it, but. These same people, you know, it's 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 kind of confirmed when I sit there and, and I keep watching their behavior, and every time a black person's around, they're like, oh, "Hey, hey buddy, brother! What's going on? Hey, What's brother!" And a white person comes around and their their body language shuts down, like they don't, they're like they don't even want, they don't want nothing to do with it. They just want to be formal. Yeah. You know? Hey, hi, hi. Yeah, work only. That's I'm like, dude, that like you can't do that. That's, yeah. That's that's racist as fuck too. It is. So. But, but a lot of people say, well, black people can't be racist. Oh yeah, black people can like, be. No, that's the like oh. racism. I mean, thing, I mean, I mean, I'm a, I'm a black dude, and I've seen a lot of racist black people too. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean, I've seen a lot. It goes always. It, it goes both ways. I think it's just it's it's beyond race now. It's just the, it's just the, I don't want to use the word backwardness. It's just the the based part of the human mind trying to dominate someone else. I think it's just the feeling of feeling better than someone yeah. or, or feeling or privileged. Feeling, like, feeling somehow inferior or something, you know, insecure you know, about yourself. Yeah, and then you're trying to feel better because you feel someone is the enemy or something. Yeah, I mean, and, and I need to say this now. I ain't saying there's no race. I mean, racism, I don't know if that sounded right, mm-hmm. you know, but there is. I mean, it's out there. People are racist at each other, right. you know. I've seen people being racist against Indians, against Mexicans. Asian people don't believe in inter- inter- marrying outside their race. Oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> apologies to all your Asian fans. I think Asian people are one of the most racist people here on earth. They, I've they, met. Might, they might be. Oh I yeah. Mean, or, or I mean, I, I, would, I don't know that they necessarily are racist in the sense of we think we're better. Our race is better than yours, but they do, do definitely tend to tribalized together and they they prefer you know to stay within their own 
I mean, I mean, I, I just, I, I mean, if that's what you want, I, I'm not going to hold that against you. If you don't want to sleep with a white girl, I mean, it's all right. You can I choose. Don't <laughs> I can't give a shit. <laughs> My problem is when, you know, people start getting all in a tizzy about it. And because, you know, say you get on a dating profile and you say, I, I prefer, you know, if I, if I got on there, I said, I prefer white women. All of a sudden I'm a racist. No, like, no, like, no, 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 no. You know, people sit there and do that. Oh, like, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. dude. It's not your fucking business. I mean, I can. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> I have pre- my preferences don't make me racist. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I mean, I totally agree with that. I think it's just people not really. Um, people don't really define who they are, you know. So they just try to pick on anything, yeah. you know. I think, I think that I mean, you can box you into. Like, you know, trying to you. You have black skin, therefore you must be also a Democrat. You must, uh, yes, sir. You must speak a bonics, so I have to change the way I speak to you now. Yes, sir. Um, you, you must, uh, you must have voted for Hillary in the last election. Oh, yes, sir. Um, oh, yes, sir. You, 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 maybe you don't hate white people, but you definitely are not going to hang out with them that much, you know. Mm. You know just have my box for you. <laughs> I don't think you fit in any of that. I mean, I don't. Like, because if I would have guessed any of that, I'd have been totally wrong. I mean, I, I don't fit in that. Maybe because I didn't grow up here. I mean, that's that's what I that's what I really value is is your your view, uh, you you having experienced something else and not having been brought up in this propaganda is what it is. Yes, sir. And like like you said, racism exists. You know, oh yeah, racist people. I mean, we just saw North Carolina. Oh North yeah, Carolina in, in Virginia, Charlotte, Charlottesville. Yes, sir. Weekend, yes, sir. A, a bunch of white people getting together and they were having a rally, you know, because white, whatever. If they want to do that, I don't give a shit. Do your thing, but I just don't think that it is quite on the scale that everybody brings it out to be. Like, mm. like you got the mainstream media and the government and, and the elites and your school system and, and every everybody in the in the position of power telling you that well, blacks hate whites and whites hate blacks and this is how it's always been and that's how it's gonna be always gonna be and you know you you, know, you black kid over here you're powerless to do anything about it because it's systematic white ris- right, white racism. I was like, dude, that's. That's the most fucked up cage you can put a kid in. Yes, sir. Like to make him feel powerless that he can't yes, do sir. anything about his situation. Yes, sir. That the yes, sir. Is so stacked against him. That yes, sir. What he does. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like, I mean, and, and like, you, who's the dick now? You know? I mean, you you, str- the real you you struck you struck a bell when you said that because the the, the, the problem I have with a lot of um, speakers that I hear online online and all that is that mm-hmm. when you tell someone that he's powerless and he can do nothing about the system, how are you helping him? That's why I don't see. You're you just, tell me now. You tell me now that this system is trying to oppress me. I mean, everybody is trying to make me feel down. You show me the light about what is really happening, and mm-hmm. you leave me there. What What am I supposed to do? How are you helping me? Look, this is how I'm helping. You see this, see this logo right here? It's a box. It's not a cage. It has an opening. You can get out. Mm. You know, you can unframe your mind. You can get out of these things. You don't have to listen to that. That shit propaganda is what it is. Yes, sir. And you can have a situation where, you know, in, in um, Nigeria, you know, the black people and the white people get along, you know, for the most part. Oh, yeah. And, and both of you recognize that the government's the fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like if, and and that's, that's why I keep pointing to that, you know, almost every episode at some point I bring up this divide and conquer narrative that you keep being, that people keep getting shoved down their throats. It's like, as long as long as I'm the government, I can stand here, or I'm the power elites, and I can stand over here and say, and keep you guys separate, and keep you guys fighting amongst divided. each other. Divided. Mm. Keep you guys divided. Guess what? You're not fighting me, and I can do whatever the hell I want to do. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, you're, with... you're busy trying to fight yourselves. Yeah. It's like they do the same shit with men and women. They do the same shit with Muslim versus nationalists. They do the same shit with rich versus poor. That It's like all these different divide and conquer bullshit narratives. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I mean, I mean, what worried me about um, the riot was that I saw a lot of young people. I'm like, if, if they were old folks, and I said, okay, maybe they ain't thinking right. But when young people don't mm-hmm. think right, that scares me. You know? Yeah, yeah. Especially when you know, like when you're late teens, early twenties. I mean, especially men, they you know, you get that testosterone flow, and you just want to change the world. You want to do something. You want to take action. You got to. <laughs> You ain't got your head right, and you're out there taking action. Who knows? A decade from now, you're not gonna regret it. Once you, once your brain finishes fully developing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're gonna <laughs> yeah. understand. I, I made a mess of so many things, you yeah. know. So, 
Yeah, yes, sir. I think I think like you said, it's it's about unboxing your mind, understanding that there are shitty people out there, there are good people out there. Just be good. That's all you need to do. That's, I think that's all you can. Do. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> so, so in general, if, if you had to, to pick the majority of the population, would you say the majority of the population is overwhelmingly good, or the majority is overwhelmingly bad? If I, you, I mean, if I would pick majority, I know what you're gonna pick, but I'm just oh, curious. Oh, good. I mean, a lot of people. I mean, people naturally want to be good. Just based on having talked to you, I, I kind of, you know, you, <laughs> you know, you know, what's funny is, is, is I have this theory that you know, if you figure out what people's general view is of people, you can almost tell what all their politics are going to be. It's like if, if if you think most people are somehow evil and trying to get away with shit all the time, and they're just just bad people, all, and most <laughs> people are just bad, bad, bad. bad. <laughs> I can, I can almost tell that you want to be a big government kind of guy. You want to put controls on people. You want to try to try to tell people how to, you know, you want to be an authoritarian in some fashion. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, but if you think that people are all majority good. Yeah, I mean, everybody like, wants good things. Just, just be good. People are fine. You know, yeah, we have a few little bad apples out there, whatever, that kind of screw it up for the rest of us. Like, <laughs> but... It's like, we'll, we'll, we'll cross those bridges when we come to them. We'll handle that shit when it, when it happens. But for the most part, just leave people alone. Let them live their life. Let them do good things in the world. Mm, mm. You know? Yeah, and, and that brings me to a topic we discuss. I, I like us to discuss about that. I mean, I think that... I, I think we should talk about control now. About control? Yeah. I mean, I feel... I feel... I know you, you think that people should be free. I mean, I agree with you. But then... Don't you think people always need some measure of control? Some measure of control? Sure. Yeah. Why not? I mean, I think so. So, I know where you're wanting to head with this. <laughs> I know you know. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I think that made a really good episode right there. And I say we go ahead and talk about this one next time. All right. Fine All about right. me. And maybe, maybe we'll record it right now. And we'll just, or I'll just, I'll just release that episode in the following week. Oh, but, uh, you like yeah, this? He, yeah. <laughs> this dude here, man. I'll tell you what. I have been trying like crazy to not talk to him about this. I'm trying to save it for the podcast because he's got this level of curiosity that I just got to capture. But anyway, so we're we're gonna we're gonna talk about that on the next episode. I'll probably be wearing the exact same thing because I'll probably be recording it here in the next few minutes. But you won't get to see it till next week. I'm sorry. But uh, if you want to be notified of that, just be sure to sign up on our website, unfairmind.com, for the email newsletter, and I'll send that out as soon as that comes around. Thank you so much for having me here. It's an honor. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what are you doing next time in a few minutes? <laughs>